The district of Verbania was originated in 1939 by the unification of the municipalities of Intra and Palanza, to which were later added Suna and Fondotoce, together with the hamlets located on the hills around it. Its territory overlooks Lake Maggiore and extends towards the hills, gradually climbing up towards the Alpine Arc. Many are the opportunities offered to the visitors staying in Verbania, trips on the lake, visits to the parks and gardens, excursions, sightseeing tours of the interland, a great museum patrimony and numerous interesting religious as well as historical sites. The artistic culture and the landscaping values of the Verbanio area are witnessed by the Landscape Museum, founded in 1909. The departments of archaeology, painting and sculpture are seated in Palazzo Viani Dugnani, while Palazzo Biumi Innocenti houses the Department of Popular Religiousness, which presents a collection unique in Europe of about 5,000 painted votive offerings. The sacred buildings dominate the urban scenario and trace an itinerary marked by the historicity of the Romanesque churches, the harmony of the 15th century forms and by the architectural inventions of the late Baroque. Villa Taranto, a true botanical and architectural jewel made even more precious by luxuriant gardens, dates back to 1831. It was the Scottish gentleman Neil Boyd McEachern who desired and actually succeeded in realizing one of the most beautiful botanical gardens in the world. Thus the wide woodland area that surrounded the villa was transformed into a 7 km long itinerary, a perfect example of English garden in Italy. The villa was named after one of the captain's ancestors who was nominated Duke of Taranto by Napoleon Bonaparte. To enrich his estate, the captain travelled several times around the world in search of rare species and investing in this project most of his great patrimony. The project was aimed at retracing the taste for the English garden, which found a fertile land in the lake area, a destination beloved by the Anglo-Saxons. Strolling along the alleys of the garden, one can admire countless rare and precious botanical species. In 1931, in 1939, Captain McEachern donated the estate to the Italian government, and in 1952, the gardens were opened to the public. 